I recently showed my indie game Forklift Flower Pot for the first time at an indie video game showcase, and I came away with three big takeaways that I wanted to share with y'all. Number one, long story short, what I found out was that my game wasn't necessarily ready for people to play it. There were like a ton of bugs. Uh, oh my God. And little minor UX things that were just very confusing that I noticed right away that I really just wanted to go and fix. There's a speed running technique in here somewhere. <laughs> but I was there on the show floor showing my game. You know, the starting area just had a lot of things that weren't guiding people down the critical path. There were lots of opportunities for people to kind of explore the areas that were accessible later in the game um, that I want in the full game because I want people to be able to explore at their own leisure. But I don't necessarily want it in a demo because people would just be pushing their head up against puzzles that they're not able to solve yet, or they just don't have enough information to solve them. And my second takeaway, other thing I really noticed is that people really enjoyed this kind of 3D exploration kind of drive around, pick stuff up, put stuff down, you know, near a forklift, have a good time. They really enjoyed that gameplay. But when it came to this card game mini game, I found that people's eyes just kind of glazed over. They weren't really interested, they weren't really engaged in what was going on. You know, it's kind of like that first couple rounds when you're teaching a board game to your friends. No one's really like enjoying that process thoroughly. I mean, there, there's a small percentage of people that actually enjoy being taught board games. I feel like I'm, I'm sometimes there. Um, you know, I can always tell when I'm explaining a board game to someone who loves it and they're just like sitting there eagerly being like, okay, yeah, oh, great. You know, and they're asking all these great questions. but. That was not the case at MAGFest, you know, I guess they were, they saw the attract mode screen of the forklift rotating around and they were like, oh, this, this looks great, this is something uh, exciting, you know, I'm just gonna drive around and have a good time. And then they get picked up by a giant tomato and slammed on a board game table and just basically forced to play a board game with these two giant tomatoes. So I, I really think it's an onboarding thing here and maybe I need to peel back some of the mechanics that are available in this first uh, iteration of this. You know, they'll, these tomatoes are going to pick you up throughout the game, they're going to force you to play cards with them, but I want it to be, feel like a, a good chunk of new mechanics every time, but not too much, right? Right now there's like, uh, there's all of the rules of the game, switching between your hand and the board, which is probably the biggest tricky thing that people don't understand right away. And then I say like, here's the blight tokens, which take away tomatoes, here's the uh, picking up and putting down, which you can use in all these different ways, and it just like gets a little bit too much and takes a little bit too long to finish. So I really need to work on that. I think I'll break this first Tomato Fighters encounter into two different ones. Uh, that way we can kind of make sure it's not too much. And the third and final takeaway, but overall I had a really amazing time. It was actually really inspiring checking out everyone else's games on the show floor, from the indie games to the indie arcade was actually really neat. You get to see all these games made with alternative controllers or just custom, unique, one-of-a-kind arcade cabinets. That was kind of sick. It made me want to stop making indie games and start making, like, a weird experimental arcade cabinet, but I, I can't do that because I'm I'm in deep with forklift flower pot, so here we are. <laughs> if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and go ahead and wishlist forklift flower pot on Steam. It helps me a ton. And let me know if this kind of style of just quick blog is interesting at all to you, or you would rather have a more highly edited and polished video. Uh, I'm trying to spend more time this year actually working on the game and less doing video editing and stuff, but we'll see where the year takes me. See ya!